Hello, my sweet YouTubers. I hope you're all fine and doing well. I'm so sorry I'm like this, really relaxed. Because, you know, I had a very, very tough day. Yesterday, I was there shooting for BBC. I told you about the casting, that I was going to play a transvestite prostitute. And uh, I'm here today to tell you my day, how it went. I'm gonna do several videos, I mean, I, I think at least two videos, this one and the other one, because you know, in the end I could film something, but not a lot, but anyway, so you can have an idea how it was and everything. So, I woke up at 2.30 in the morning, uh, I started my makeup like 3 o'clock, by 4 something I was ready, so I could finish and take my coffee, uh, 5.30 the taxi was here and I arrived there exactly 5.45 because they wanted me there at 5.45 I got there, uh, it was very very organized because I told you it was BBC stuff so they had a lot of uh, cars and buses, you know those kind of big buses uh, empty with uh, uh, dressing rooms and everything so they brought me the responsible, the guy after showed me the way to talk to the, the girl organizing the costumes and everything so I had to show her what I had she picked a car set and uh, you know the first because normally I had two scenes I was in the first shooting at 7.30 where I was going to be in a room with a client or stuff like that so she picked all the stuff and after I was called by the, the, the responsible for the makeup because I was already made up as I told you so the girl said listen uh, we don't want this makeup this is too strong the director wants something really light I knew that but anyway because I know I know I was playing a character it was you know something serious and uh, I trusted them. All right. So the girl starts. Okay, I'm sorry, but I have to take some of the makeup away. I said, All right, no problem. She took my false eyelashes because it was a really big one. She start taking away all the makeup. I mean the the cut crease I did and everything. I said, Okay. She took up. She took off my lips. I said, All right. So let's see what they are gonna do. So after the assistant start building a very small lips, like, you know, like uh, this lips was used, you know what I mean? It was not a fresh lips. All right, I understood that. And after the, she start building a little, you know, um, eyeshadow, very light. She did a very light eyeliner, no false eyelashes, just some mascara. I felt like I was naked I felt like there was no makeup and I think she realized that I was a little bit upset she said I'm so sorry I know uh, you were not expecting that I said I understand I said yeah I'm really naked anyway I think this is I'm gonna show you this was more or less what happened this was the makeup because you know there was the scene was uh, in a very dark room it was supposed to be in a very dark room and uh, no light and uh, it should be like I was working I was tired was the end of the day you know my makeup was used if you know what I mean so that was it but it didn't happen this way I stayed I was ready in, on time there was a driver there the driver brought us to the place it was not far away but it was a little hotel a real hotel where the prostitutes bring the customers in the center of Brussels I thought the the hotel was closed because it seems it was closed I mean really closed down like a, they were not working for years because the room I was waiting for missing was really old and uh, dirty. It seemed like it was a ghost hotel. And after I heard the hotel was open, all right. It was just they rented the, uh, the hotel for the shooting. I said, all right, fine. Anyway, I was in this room uh, prepared. They, they brought all my costumes and my wig. They've chosen, I brought several wigs, they didn't like it because they want something really natural. 
I didn't like the choice they had, it was a very cheap wig and um, I was there waiting with my corset on so the director came and because he wanted to see me he said all right it's fine this is perfect I said okay so the girl said they're shooting some scenes upstairs with, with uh, the detective with the policeman and uh, and after you're gonna be in I said all right and I was there waiting and waiting nine o'clock nine thirty ten ten thirty eleven Finally, the girl got back and she said, listen, they are still shooting and uh, I think we're gonna shoot very soon. I said, all right, 11.30, nothing. I was really tired, my corset was there, everything was on. By almost midday, she said, uh, they decided not to shoot the scene with you and uh, we are gonna eat now. We are going to the, the base, uh, was not far from there, and that we are gonna it's an after in the afternoon we are gonna shoot with you and the other transvestites. Okay, and I said okay, fine. I got there with the driver and everything, so I met all the the, the girls, the transvestites. I knew one of them, Vavaha, and it was very cool, very funny. We had a great time. And uh, by four in the afternoon we were still waiting for our turn to shoot. So finally I was, I couldn't stand anymore. I had to pee because you know, I had my hip pads and everything. So when the moment I went to pee was the moment they came to pick the girls up, us up. I said, oh, that's very nice because I had to put very quickly my hip pads and everything. And uh, I was late. I mean, like two minutes late, so the girls were already with the driver going to the hotel. And I had the impression, I said, I mean, I, I had the feeling, I said, I'm sure I'm going to be cut. I mean, I'm not going to be in any scene. Because, you know, I was not with the girls, so I, they were supposed to arrive before me. So they were going to be placed before me. And I knew all my costumes, they were all dressed up already. My costumes were already there in the hotel because, you know, they brought all my stuff there. I said, I had a bad feeling. So when we got out of the place, the base we were, the girl said, the one of the people organizing the scene she said, She's, you know, um, we are waiting for the second driver, but you, it's not far from here. It's like 300 meters. You can go walking. I said, oh nice, I was with my makeup on, some extras were dressed as prostitutes and I said, oh nice, we are going to walk on the city like that. She said, oh, but you know, you can wait for the driver. I said, oh, we're going to be really late. I told the girl, let's go. So we were walking, we got there, I had to get dressed. So I realized they were already shooting the scenes with the other transvestites. And I said, this is going to be bad because I'm going to be out of the scenes. Anyway, so when they called me, they put me in a place. Um, I hope where we shoot one scene that I have some hope they are going to keep. Because there was this scene of the transistite singing live. And I was just behind her. And the camera, I think, could take me. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit pessimist I don't know I don't think I'm gonna be in anyway uh, this is the second season of the this series called the missing I think the first season is still on so that means the production for the second season is still going on for six months so they told me like next year this second season will be on BBC but I don't know I really don't know Anyway, it was a good experience, we had a great time, it was really well organized and then I, oh no no I forgot to tell you, while we were waiting in the base there with the rest of the transvestite, um, I was talking to Vavaha, Vavaha had a, she had a great makeup, I mean very better than ours and I said how come you have this she said, you know what, because I didn't let them do my makeup. We were already really late 
and I told the makeup artist, she said, listen darling, let me do it because I'm gonna be much faster and the girl let her do her own makeup. So she did a very nice cut crease, very simple. She built in a very nice way. I was awful, I tell you. I was really feeling awful. Then again, I was playing the character and I said, okay, let's do it like that. But you know what? I said, I think they really they are really stressed out because of the they were late and everything. I said, you know what? If I add a little dark here and if I fix my makeup, I think nobody will notice. And I did. I took my brushes, I add some dark uh, purple, some black. I fixed a little bit. I rebuilt my cut crease a little bit and it was much better. When I got there uh, for something, we were already late and uh, I said, you know what, the director is not watching very well the, the extras. I said, you know what, I took away the wig they put me originally because it was really awful. And I used a wig that I, once I did a video like with the SM and uh, like a dominatrix long time ago, it's a, with a, some bangs, really, really dominatrix. And I used this wig. And then they, they changed my costume. Instead of the corset, I had a little dress. I said, okay, let's try if they don't say anything. And I got there. The director just put me there, said, yeah, you are here. He didn't say anything, so fine. So at least my look was nice, was this look I'm showing you now, and uh, I don't think it was bad, it was much better. And I do hope they are gonna keep me, really. I do hope they will keep one frame with me on it. So that's it, my darlings. That was my experience. We finished uh, shooting by 7 in the evening and uh, I had a really tough day because I was awake since 2.30 I was up that's it that was the experience and uh, what I want to tell you is in the end what is a drag makeup what is a cross dresser a transvestite sometimes I do not understand because uh, I know there is I know the difference a little bit but you know each one is different we are all different one drag queen is different from another a transvestite also some transvestite they don't use any makeup some of them a lot and uh, well we are all different characters I really didn't get I mean why shouldn't I have at least my false eyelashes? Why not? Just because I'm transvestite. So what is this? A transvestite it cannot use uh, false eyelashes. I don't get it. So that's my question. Can you help me with this? Can you light my day? Drop me a message, leave me a comment. Let's start a conversation here. So that was my experience with BBC. So now let's pray and uh, let's hope they're gonna keep me. Uh, it was fun, it was really fun. Anyway, my darlings, this is it for today. I hope you did enjoy this video. I'm so sorry to be relaxed because I had to. I had a very, very tough day yesterday. Anyway, now you take care of yourselves, you play safe, stay safe, and don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment, share the video and thumb it up. Because you know, my channel is growing and growing thanks to you. Thanks to your little actions. Thank you so much for the comments also because the last video I was talking about the BBC stuff, I had so many people with good comments saying good luck, good luck. Thank you so much guys. I have several fans, I don't call them fans, I call them friends they are always there for me i'm so sorry if i'm not answering you guys but i always read your comments and i'm so grateful for that so that's it for today super kisses bye